So this is something that I had to figure out today. So how to render this strike through across text. So this is for like uh, when you have objectives, I need to show the incomplete objective, the, which is this one and the completed objective. So to show that this one is completed, I wanted to have a strike through that text. So that's what we are going to learn in this tool tutorial how to add a strike through on the text in UMG okay so for that let me first create a widget a user widget I'll call it strike through demo uh, WDG strike through demo because this is a widget now let me open that and then uh, here let me add a, so in order to add a strike through I need to have a rich text uh, component rich text block so here is the rich text block and here let me add some text objective 1 objective 2 okay now here you see nothing is rendered because we have to have a a text style set so we can create a data table with the type style rich text style row I'll call it dt rt dtr text just simply stands for rich text and here add one entry so font well initially this should be called default because we need a default style so if I assign it here and compile nothing appears so we need to assign a font Let me just assign Roboto and compile. Now you see the text appears with this color. Well, I don't really need pink, so that's not important, but let me make it white. Okay, now in order to have this drive through, we need to have another row. Let me simply duplicate this. I'll call it right or maybe simply s capital s and here since i duplicated we have the same font and the colors but here we have a strike brush so here we need to add a texture it could be some simply some white texture so let me just import some texture it's nothing but some white square and I'll assign that into this image of strike brush and I'll, by default it renders as image so I'll keep it that way and so here you see the row name is S now here if I tag that like this S and end of it and compile now you see there is a simple strike through so yeah it's simple as that that's how you render an strike through and thanks for watching see you in another tutorial bye